All right, welcome to the video. So I got a pretty neat video um, for you today, but I have to preface it a little bit so that you guys, you know, kind of know why we were out there looking for this particular section corner. So what we're doing, it's called um, Remonumentation. It's like a statewide program. It's operated at the county level. Um, there's a number of surveyors that work on it every year and we are assigned section corners to go out and basically remonument the position with what's arguably a better longer lasting monument with new witnesses and a new record um, so what we do is we go back we go to the register of deeds and we search for basically county surveyor records recorded surveys land corner recordation certificates um, unrecorded surveys if we have access to them and we basically look at the position of a section corner in the monument that was used over time and we compare it with the current position current witnesses current you know measurements to adjacent section corners to determine to determine if it's the right uh, position basically so the corner I'm working on today um, you can see I have this old county surveyor record and the corner I was assigned is uh, corner F you can see right in the middle of this survey um, this is an 1870 survey done by a surveyor named Frank Davis. Um, so we're talking 150 years ago, 151 years ago. And you can see on this sheet, corner F is called a stone and glass. Now some of these other corners on the survey, um, some of them have been remonumented already. Uh, there's other ones that are like 16th corners that are called out as stakes. Those were probably just a wood stake there may be evidence of them there, but they're a lot harder to find than an old stone. Probably, you know, rot, rotten or whatever. Um, but there's one other corner here that is corner C, which is also a stone. So we're going to look for corner F. We're also going to look for corner C, because if we don't find F, C would help us perpetuate the position of F based on this uh, particular survey. So... Um, I didn't shoot quite as much video as I had hoped. Filming isn't the primary reason we were out there. I mean, we, we had to get the job done, and I just took some video um, while we were out there of, of what we found. So, um, hope you enjoy the video, and uh, here it is. Just out here digging up the road. I think we found a county surveyor stone right there. Oh my god, that's crazy. I think you gotta go get it because these are uh, rare finds. That's serious, they're not common. These are, this was sent what, how long ago? I'd have to look, probably 1880s. <clears throat> when is both of them? What's that? Oh, I grabbed the book for you if you want to okay. jot some notes.
the aftermath. Got her all cleaned up. Very cool corner to find. Scratch that edge right there. Got it. about a foot below grade. <laughs> what you gonna do? 660 like 660. 660 even is probably that tip right there. Because I was right here. Yep. 660 11. That guy is a hell of a surveyor, whoever he is. Anyways, I want to just kind of say how cool I think it is that um, basically that glass that I held in my hands, but that glass and those stones were placed in the ground uh, by the hands of a surveyor in April of 1870, 150 years ago, um, and I have written record of basically the day it was put there. The fact that the glass was buried pretty much under the stone tells me pretty high likelihood that the last human hands to touch that glass before I picked it up was whoever on that survey crew placed it down there before they put the stone on top. And basically the next human to touch it was me. And I just think that's so cool. I have like a physical, you know, tangible connection to somebody basically from like the time of the Civil War and it's all documented. I just think that's so cool to, to wrap my mind around that. Um, that type of glass is kind of rare to find, like the, the bottles like that. Uh, a lot of times uh, surveyors will call it crockery. You'll see a, um, a record that says stone and crockery. It's usually like either clay pot or uh, like a dish, it almost looks like china. Um, I have some here that we found probably about five years ago. And it's like pure white. And you can see if it'll focus on that. You can see that it's like the edge of a plate or something there. Um, it's actually like a piece of glass from like a dish. Um, I have found a few stones with with uh, crockery like that um, but it's pretty cool um, I enjoy the fact that I get to find these old things we usually get <clears throat> between all the surveyors in the program we usually get a couple stones like that found every year you know usually you don't get so lucky if the roads been graded or uh, I shouldn't say graded but you know cut back or you know a lot of construction done or a culvert put in or something a lot of times that old evidence gets gets uh, destroyed so it's pretty rare to actually find the stones like that especially with the glass or crockery um, 
and uh, I just think it's pretty cool. Um, I know I'm kind of rambling, so I'm going to end this uh, video here, and I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll uh, see you in the next video.